Pokemon is the largest media franchise of all time, and the only way you could possibly make it any better is to create Pokemon, but with all your friends. An official Pokemon MMO is probably never going to happen, one can hope, but what we do already have is some incredible fan-made content that has captured the attention of hundreds of thousands of gamers looking to scratch that Pokemon MMO itch. If you want to know which Pokemon MMO is right for you, make sure to watch until the end to know exactly what to expect from all five of these top Pokemon MMOs. Before we jump in, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you want more Pokemon MMO content, and let me know in the comments which Pokemon MMO is your favorite. Number five, Pokemon Vortex. Pokemon Vortex is the oldest running Pokemon MMO around, and it released back in 2009. It first released as Pokemon Crater, which was later reimagined into the Pokemon MMO we know today called Pokemon Vortex. This game has gone through its ups and downs, and there's been times where it didn't get very many updates, but right now it seems to be updated fairly frequently, about once a month or once every other month. One of the main draws in this game is how many Pokemon there are. There are over 7,200 Pokemon to collect. Yes, 7,200 Pokemon. It's incredible. They have custom Pokemon and custom forms to keep you hunting for hours and hours. Those of you that like to collect Pokemon, this is the Pokemon MMO for you. And this is one that I have played for hundreds of hours. And I really, really do enjoy this game just from the collection aspect itself. There's also plenty to do and there's a lot of end game content that you can get around, but most of it is focused around collecting. So those of you that don't like collecting Pokemon as much and want to get more into the PVP and progression and late game outside of searching for rare Pokemon, this one might not be for you. Number four, Pokemon Planet. Ah, Pokemon Planet. So many memories. This was the first Pokemon MMO that I first played on this channel, and the one that really kind of kicked off my YouTube career, if you even want to call it that. Pokemon Planet has a ton of content, and one of the reasons why I really, really enjoyed this game. It not only has PvP content, kind of like most of the rest of them, but you can also collect rare Pokemon and even legendaries, which the base rate of finding a legendary is 1 in 125,000. And in my 200 hours plus of playing this game, I never found one. The longevity of this game really speaks to how strong it is, especially in regards to the economy of the game. This game has been around for a long time, and the economy still seems to be doing pretty well, seeing as how inflation and price hikes really aren't a problem in this game. There's lots to keep you occupied in this game. In the late game, there's PvP, there's collecting the rare Pokemon and legendaries like we spoke about earlier, there's the battle tower, there's Pokemon bosses, and there's a lot more. There really is a lot to grind in this game, as well as skills with fishing and mining. I mean, there's a ton of stuff to do in this game outside of just PvP. This game used to be my favorite Pokemon MMO and was actually number one in my last video that I did last year on Pokemon MMOs, but I feel that this time it's got down to the number four spot because it really just doesn't get any updates. I mean, this game is relatively dead in regards to updating the game. All of the content has just been recycled from the years past and there's nothing been added new in the past probably year and a half. Despite that, I still think it's a really good Pokemon MMO, and it'll still bring you hundreds and hundreds of hours of content. So if you're looking for a grindy MMO that you really want to put a lot of time into, this could be the one. But if you're looking for something more long-term and with a better player base, and one that gets updated more often, maybe this one isn't for you. Number three, Pokey One. Pokey One came out back in 2018 to a lot of fanfare. We were super hyped about this game. Me and my friends, I got them all together. We were really hyped. And it's a really fun Pokemon MMO, especially if you do have other friends to play with. One of the biggest things that I really enjoy about this game is that you can do double battles with your friends all the way through the story and even into the end game where you can fight and look for rare Pokemon with your friend right next to each other in double battles. And I really, really enjoy that. And I don't think there's any other Pokemon MMO that really does that. Another quality that this game brings is the fact that the graphics are by far the best in all of the Pokemon MMOs that you're going to choose from. If you really, really want a gorgeous looking Pokemon MMO, this is the one. It is made by the same people that made Pokemon Revolution. I think they kind of split off into a separate team, but it's a really, really well made game that has a lot to do. I also think the PvP in this game is a very, very strong community, and it's not too hard to get to end game in this game as well. So if you're looking for a quick PvP game that you can really jump in and start competing quickly, this is the MMO for you. 
if you're looking for more late game content that isn't PvP, this game is probably one to skip. Number two, Pokemon Revolution Online. Pokemon Revolution Online is one of the few Pokemon MMOs that I have a comparable amount of time to, to Pokemon Planet. I played this game for years and years on and off, and there is still plenty to do and a lot of fun to have. In this Pokemon MMO, there are four regions to play all the way through, and every single time that you beat the Elite Four and you go to a new region, your Pokemon are actually saved in your boxes, and you can only use the Pokemon from the region that you are on until you beat the Elite Four again to where your other Pokemon are unlocked. What makes it really fun is it kind of feels like you're starting fresh every single time you start a new region. So it's not like you're playing through the game with all level 100 Pokemon and it's all like end game stuff. It's just starting brand new and really kind of gives you a fresh experience every time you get to that point in the game. There's also a lot of fan made content that you really don't see in the other Pokemon MMOs with custom scripted events and maps that really keep you on your toes that are much different and are just really beautiful. They have really good map makers that are in their team. So I really do enjoy the maps that they come out with in this game. This might be nitpicky, but I think the biggest drawback to this game is the way you can't evolve your Pokemon because when you do evolve your Pokemon, it punishes you because it's harder to level up with an evolved Pokemon. The idea behind it is their Pokemon is stronger, so it takes harder for it to level up, but it, it, that makes sense in theory, but in practice, it just feels really bad. I don't want to be punished for making my Pokemon look and feel a lot stronger. I want to feel that progression and if evolution is one of those ways. And there's just things like that throughout this game that I feel it kind of holds it back from being a more streamlined experience. But if you're a Pokemon fan that wants a lot of things to do in their Pokemon MMO, also have a healthy in-game PvP community, this is the game for you. If you're looking for a more streamlined Pokemon experience, maybe look into one of the other Pokemon MMOs on this list. Number one, Poki MMO. All right, we had to do it. It wasn't even on our list last time we did this list, and I'm telling you, I am so mad at myself that it took me so long to finally coming around to playing this game. I think one of the reasons why I didn't get around to it is the setup process can be a little convoluted. It's really not terribly difficult, but you do have to actually have ROMs like black and white and the fire red and leaf green. You have to have those ROMs installed into the game to be able to run this game as it does run off of these ROMs for all of its graphics and things that run the game behind the scenes. But man, once you get this fully ready to go, there is a lot of content to keep you occupied. It is by far the most extensive PvP scene, and breeding is essential and done in a way to keep the economy from becoming inflated. I'm not going to go into an entire guide in regards to their breeding, but the way it works is they basically destroy a Pokemon to make a Pokemon, so it really makes it feel like you're not just throwing a bunch of Pokemon into the economy and making everything worthless. They also recognize that the longevity of this game has to come from also higher rates of trying to find Pokemon. So finding a shiny Pokemon is one in 30,000. It really makes you feel super special when you finally see those sparkles. My main beef and the really the only thing I don't really enjoy is the fact that you really can't get legendary Pokemon. It's a weird way to get it and you don't really even keep the Pokemon. It's kind of strange. Again, I'm not going to go into a ton of detail, but I'm not a big fan of how they do legendaries, but I completely understand as I think legendaries would really break this game. But it's the only thing I don't care for because I really do enjoy using legendary Pokemon when I get to that point in these Pokemon MMOs. Another big factor and the reason why this game is really good is it is updated fairly frequently and there is a lot of fan content as well as official content to really keep you coming back and looking for Pokemon and looking for the best PvP team and really kind of bringing the community together to enjoy Pokemon as it should be and that is with other friends and other people. This is the Pokemon MMO for you and is the Pokemon MMO for most people if you really want the closest thing you can get to a true Pokemon MMO. But if you do want something different, maybe try out one of the other ones in this list. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more and I'll see you next time.